hello guys in this video i decided to make a stylized girl as always starting from the sphere and this time i'm going to sculpt it in zbrush it will be a pretty complex project first i'm planning to sculpt pretty looking stylized girl then of course make some clothes and hairs and I probably will do some parts of the clothes in Blender and other parts in ZBrush. After that, according to my plans, I will make hairs in Blender again. Then we'll do UVs in Blender and switch to Substance Painter to make some cool realistic textures there. And in the end, I will come back to Blender to make rendering and presentation and this is a long work that's why i decided to make videos in parts otherwise the video will be too long and no one will watch it so in this video i will show you the block out phase where i was making a head and the body of stylized girl and I wanted to make her to look pretty and it took me that's why it took me a bit long time but no worries I cut out all the boring stuff so I hope it will not be too complicated for you to watch this one and in this video series I want to show you the full process of creation characters from the scratch of course I will do some speed ups to save time but what you will be able to get is the workflow and understanding of how to go step by step in the way of creation characters and not just the simple characters with a vertex paint but characters with high quality textures and, and with the surface that will be looking closer to realistic. So coming back to what I'm doing right now in the video as you see, I already sculpted out the basic uh, the shapes of the head and switched to the body. And I was blocking the body out of simple primitives like cylinders and spheres and started with the torso so first it's just bringing out in the scene different primitives to block out roughly the silhouette of the body and in ZBrush in the left top corner you can see the window which is showing the silhouette of the model that we are creating and it's pretty handy I always use it so here is not much to comment obviously I'm just doing legs just duplicating sub tools and trying to give them pretty basic shapes also I'm keeping different parts of the body as separate sub tools and for those who doesn't know in ZBrush objects are called subtools so it's just different naming and some of you probably will ask why you decided to make this model in zbrush so first reason is because i have zbrush <laughs> of course i have blender which is free but i also have zbrush and I don't know, I just decided to experiment sculpting again in ZBrush because I didn't use this software for a long time. 
and second reason is more practical because ZBrush can handle more polygons in Blender I was having some problems with poly, poly count when my Blender couldn't handle too heavy objects I mean dense objects with huge amount of polygons and it was lagging and sculpting process wasn't that smooth and when I switched back to ZBrush I right away felt how ZBrush is behaving much um, smoother and of course if you are really good sculptor it's it doesn't matter which software you use I know a lot of amazing artists they do really good arts in blender only and I tried to make it as well but with this model I just decided to come back to ZBrush and to try it there and to be honest it was was um, pretty pleasant experience for me here you can see I'm already making feed of the model not much things to comment just blocking out with um, using some basic tools like move trim dynamic mainly move and clay build up so in the block out phase my main object is to get good silhouette so if you will look at the model it it must be looking like female not like something else or like male and when you scoop and look from time to time in this uh, left top corner window you can right away see your problems that you have right now in the proportions and you can understand what you need to to look for to change so after I did more or less satisfying block out I decided to fix the proportions and for that I used classical way of making eight heads I just duplicated my existing head of the model moved it to the left side and just started fixing the body proportions looking at those of course I I wasn't doing that from my head I found a references of classical eight heads method of measuring proportions when you draw or sculpt characters and also I'm not showing here but I'm always looking at references when I sculpt or draw characters and that's what I highly recommend to everyone who wants to start sculpting characters always use references and why characters not only for them for anything you want to sculpt or texture or even read apologize always you need to check references and that that's one of the best habits of artists I think moving body parts lengths up and down is giving me some more or less satisfying results and I'm slowly moving on and on to the desired goal of getting a base mesh of the stylized girl
As for the references, I'm using not only books about anatomy, but also um, 3D scans of real human and some 3D model references that I bought from ArtStation. On ArtStation you can buy some 3D model scoops with good proportions and use it for your work but make sure that it's made by a good artist because sometimes you can buy something and it will be not very good as you expected as for the hands they are looking pretty ugly right now but this is just a block out just to see that there is something and I will definitely fix it later. It was pretty interesting experience of sculpting female breast because I didn't I did it a couple of times before but this time I noticed I learned from anatomy books and from some video tutorials that female breast is actually a fat pad which is laying on top of the muscles of chest muscles and chest mu muscles are built exactly like males muscles but on top they are just laying some not some two fat pads and it's really important to start with the blocking out male chest and after that adding female um, breasts on top and that will make look them more natural I did it other way this time because I didn't realize that importance that much. But I understood it when I was going back and forth, just hiding the breast and looking what's happening under. Actually this breast part took me a lot of time and always coming back and forth to get more or less good result, at least looking satisfying to me personally. Alright guys this is the almost the end of this video and I'm just finishing up the model block out and in the next video I will show you the process of how I continued making stylized girl body and head and everything else what normal girls need to have in order to look good all right so I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one Cheers.